Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by today. Today's beer comes from Trillium Brewing. Oh, and you know how I feel about those guys. They do some awesome stuff. This is the Assiduous Imperial Brown Ale 2016. And Trillium Brewing Company is out of Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, this is a 7.5%er, I believe. Yep, 7.5%er by alcohol. The date is 10 16 and the day's date is... The 21st of November, so it's just a tad over a month old. The commercial description on this says this, uh, we, we brew deciduous to welcome the return of autumn and celebrate New England's ever-changing foliage. For this new version, we brewed an opaque imperial brown ale. The nose emits pleasant aromas of pine sap, toasted bread, and orange marmalade. Deciduous embodies a seasonal transition from summer to winter with a herbaceous lemon and spicy pine aroma. Balanced on the palate with a hearty multigrain malt character and clean, refreshing bitterness. Assiduous is medium in body and dry on the finish. ABV 7.5. Malt is British pale malt, flaked wheat, dextrine, uh, carrot, carafa, three special, dextrose. Hops are Centennial and Columbus. I don't have the IBUs listed here on Beer Advocate, so let's see if Untapped has it. Nope, they do not. So, uh, We'll jump over to the food pairings while I'm popping the cap and pouring it. Cuisine is barbecue. The cheeses are earthy Camembert Fontana. Your nutty cheeses, Asiago Colby Parmesan. And uh, meat is uh, beef. Goes well with your chocolate dishes is what they're saying here. Glassware, the pint, Becker, non tumbler mug, Sion Seidel. I'm using my favorite snifter and not recommended for extensive salary. Well, we got a, a good finger of head. It is a brown caramel color, very cloudy in the upper part, giving just a hint of some light through the outside edges of the thin part of the glass. Let's get a nose on it. Wow, it does have a, uh, for a brown ale, it does have a big hoppy aroma. Wow, I'm getting pine, grapefruit. Wow. Some hints of some pineapple. Maybe some mango in there. It smells more like an IPA, but I am getting a little bit of malt notes in there. But the hops are overpowering the, the maltiness of it. So let's give it a taste and see what we got. Very, very dark brown murky color. Greg sent me this, so thanks, Greg. I do appreciate it, sir. Cheers. Cheers, Greg. Big hot presence of this beer. The hops are overpowering the malt. A lot of your fall beers and winter beers will have a big maltiness to them. This reminds me of a West Coast style. Uh, brown ale, imperial brown ale, because the hops are so pungent. The hops are in the front seat on this one, guys. They are overpowering everything, especially now that it's fresh out of the fridge. So, uh, we're going to let it warm up and see if I can get any kind of chocolate or or caramel or toffee in here. 
So before I leave, we're going to dump the rest of it in here. And I might go out on the deck. The uh, wind's still blowing about 20 miles an hour, which is better than 50 miles an hour, which it was blowing yesterday and the day before. So uh, we'll go out there and uh, fire up a stogie and uh, sip on this for just a while and see where we end up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sitting on it for a while now. It's a very tasty beer. It's a very hot forward beer for an Imperial Brown Ale. It doesn't fit the style. I mean, I'm not getting a lot of caramel, toffee, brown sugar, uh, sweetness on this beer. It's like a murky brown IPA. Uh, it's tasty, don't get me wrong, but it does not fit the style. Uh, it's not. I'm not getting those imperial brown notes with the toffee caramel stuff, like I said. So, very tasty. I enjoyed it. Looks like flood mud, muddy river water, but the hot profile is just off the chain on this guy. So, I mean, it's like a murky brown double IPA. Final chug. Ever so slight taste of some uh, caramel toffee in there, but it is very, very subdued. It is super hoppy though. Being a hophead, I love the taste of this. And if I was grading it for an IPA or a double IPA, it would get a little bit better grade than I'm going to end up giving this, but it does not fit the style. It is so hoppy, it's overpowering everything else. As, 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 as much as I hate to say it, it doesn't fit the style. Uh, and I've said that probably three or four times already, but it does not. It is way too hoppy for an Imperial Brown Ale. So all those uh, Brown Ale notes are very, very subdued or hidden. Uh, to me, guys, this is probably the first beer from these guys but I'm not going to give an A grade to. Uh, if I was grading it for a, a brown IPA or, or something in that category, it would get a little bit better grade, but it does not fit the style of an Imperial Brown. But being a hop head, I loved it. Those hops are off the chain on this beer. Very, very nice. Uh, guys, I'm going to give this a B plus, but it is so tasty, uh, it's going to be kicking on the door of the A. So I'm going to give this a 7. Uh, but the numeric rating on this is an 89. It's, uh, it's so close to an A. Uh, but, like I said, the only reason it doesn't get the A, it doesn't fit the stop. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 86 in the very good range. I'm giving it better numbers than those guys are. And over to Rape Beer, they say 85 overall, but only 50 in the style. I, and I agree with that. It doesn't fit the style of the beer for an Imperial Brown Ale. There's just too much hoppiness there. And not enough of the caramel toffee uh, brown sugar molasses notes to go with what I'm getting here. So, first beer from these guys that didn't get the egg grade for me, I think. So, uh, but it's still very tasty. As a hop head and a hop lover, I enjoyed the shit out of this beer. So, uh, this doesn't fit the style. That's the only reason the numbers are not into the A category. But, very damn hoppy. I'll have to give you that. Uh, over to Untapped. Untapped has it at 4.04, which is their low A, their A minus grade as far as I'm concerned. So it's very, very tasty, guys. But if you're looking for something which is typical of a brown ale with the caramel toppy, molasses, brown sugar notes, they are so overpowered by the hoppiness of this beer, uh, they just don't come through. It, it looks like a good one as far as the color and everything, but. It is just so overhopped, uh, but I enjoyed it too. I like that hoppy stuff. But anyway, it doesn't fit the style, guys. That's why the numbers are, are where they're at. So if you've had this one from Trillium Brewing out of Boston, Massachusetts, this is their Deciduous Imperial Brown Ale 2016. Let me know what you think, guys, and come on back tomorrow. Let's dig something out of the fridge. See everybody then.